Eyewitness News, the latest update from the Southland's number one news team. It is possible to be extremely critical of the leadership of the city of Los Angeles at this time. This is one of the most critical days in the history of the city. And uh, we find that the leadership of the city is uh, virtually absent. Uh, Mayor Yorty, for example, was out of the city for much of the day meeting political commitments, which he had made some time before. Uh, it would be expected that on a date of this sort, he would remain here and cancel political commitments up in San Francisco. And more people are hungry, thus more people have less hope, and of course, much less to lose. Good night. What on God's green earth you're doing this morning? Aren't you? Flamingo dancing. No, you mean flamenco dancing. <laughs> I'm Michael Caine stars tomorrow night at 6.30. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News, a complete report with Joseph Benty, John Schubert, Ralph Story, Stu Nahan with sports, and Alan Sloan with the weather. Good evening. I'm Joseph Jensen, and this is tonight's edition of the Eyewitness News. Channel 7 KABC-TV, Los Angeles. This is Eyewitness News, the 11 o'clock report with Joseph Betty, John Schubeck, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening. I'm John Schubeck. Joe Betty's still on vacation this week, so joining us will be Chuck Henry. Good evening, I'm Joseph Penty, and this is Channel 7's Eyewitness News. The biggest single action of the Vietnam War today was over the second major port city in the north, Vinh. Eight B-52 bombers, each capable of carrying about 35 tons of bombs, raided the coastal town, 145 miles north of the demilitarized zone. Good morning. It's 64 degrees and partly cloudy in Los Angeles. I'm Steve Lentz, and this is the 825 edition of the news. Police in South Los Angeles are trying to find the driver of a hit-and-run car which killed a six-year-old girl last night. Paul Newman stars, 11.30 tomorrow night. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News with Judd Hambrick, John Schubeck, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Judd Hambrick. Here's what's happening at 11 o'clock. The gun... This is Eyewitness News, the 1030 report with Dick Carlson, Larry Carroll, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Dick Carlson. Here's what's happening at 1030 tonight. Chuck Henry reports on sharks tomorrow night at 5. This is Eyewitness News, the 1030 report with Dick Carlson, Larry Carroll, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Dick Carlson. Here's what's happening at 10.30 tonight. It's all quiet again in the hills above Hollywood, but there was lots of excitement early this evening. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News with Jet Hambrick, Christine Lund, Eddie Alexander, Dr. George, and the entire Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Judd Hambrick. Here's what's happening at 5 o'clock. Good morning, I'm Al Tafoya with the summary of today's events from the Eyewitness Newsroom. Here are the top stories. Chief U.S. District Judge George L. Hart says he, and not President Nixon, will decide whether a cloak of executive secrecy can be thrown over campaign donors who get federal government jobs. Hart ordered Friday that files on that subject, now in the custody of Nixon's former Commerce Secretary and campaign fundraiser, Morris Stans, be brought to him Monday. He'll review them and rule whether they should remain secret. Good morning. I'm Len Beardsley, and this is the sign-off edition 
of Eyewitness News. The Ventura County District Attorney's Office says it's investigating more than 100 deaths at Camarillo State Hospital over the past three years. Assistant District Attorney Mike Bradbury said Monday that manslaughter and murder charges may be filed as a result. Bradbury said his office is going to take a hard look at 79 of those deaths which have been caused by a drug overdoses, asphyxiation, or negligence. That's it for our sign-off edition of Eyewitness News. This is Len Beardsley thanking you for listening and bidding you a good night and a good morning. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Christine Lund, Harold Green, Eddie, Dr. George, and the eyewitness news team. Good evening. Here's what's happening at 11 o'clock. Every... This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now, the latest breaking eyewitness news with Christine Lund, Harold Green, Eddie, Dr. George, and the eyewitness news team. Good evening. Here's what's happening at 11 o'clock tonight. New development in that air tragedy in San Diego. Better... From the desert to the sea to all of Southern California, a good evening. Here's the latest at 6. Eyewitness News, the latest update from the Southland's number one news team. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. Now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Jerry Dunphy, Harold Green for vacation in Christine Lund, Tony Hernandez, Dr. George, and the eyewitness news team. From the desert to the sea to all of Southern California, a good evening. Here's the latest at 11. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Jerry Dunphy, Christine Lund, Ted, Dr. George, and the eyewitness news team. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Paul Moyer for Jerry Dunphy, Christine Lund, Ted Dawson, Dr. George, and the eyewitness news team. Good evening. Here's what's happening at 11 o'clock tonight. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now Eyewitness News with Jerry Dumphy, Christine Lund, Johnny Mountain with the weather, Ted Dawson with sports, and the Eyewitness News team. From the desert to the sea to all of Southern California, a good evening. Here's the latest at 11 o'clock. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And our latest breaking eyewitness news with Larry Carroll, Lisa Speck, Tony Hernandez for Ed Arnold with sports, Johnny Mountain with the weather, and the eyewitness news team. Good evening, here's what's happening. Former hostage Gary Lee, vow... This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Ann Martin. Paul Dandridge, Dallas Raines, Ted Dawson, and the Eyewitness News Team. Good evening and a happy 4th of July to you. Our top story tonight is... This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. Now the latest breaking Eyewitness News with Jerry Dumphy, Tawny Little, Ted Dawson with sports, Dr. George with the weather, and the Eyewitness News Team. From the desert to the sea to all of Southern California, a good evening. Here's the latest at 11. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. Eyewitness News continues now with Jerry Dunphy, Christine Lund, Ted Dawson with sports, Dr. George with the weather, and the Eyewitness News team. From the desert to the sea to all of Southern California, a good evening. Here's the latest at 6. Eyewitness News, the latest update from the Southland's number one news team. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. Now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Jerry Dunphy, Paul Moyer, Ted Dawson with sports, Dr. George with the weather, and the eyewitness news team. From the desert to the sea to all of Southern California, a good evening. Here's the latest now at 11. 
This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Chuck Henry, Joanna Shamina, Ted Dawson with sports, Ken Curtis with the weather, and the eyewitness news team. Good evening, everybody. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Chuck Henry, Joanna Shamina, Ed Arnold with sports, Johnny Mountain with the weather, and the eyewitness news team. Good evening, everyone. The Republican convention is now just a few hours away as the GOP gets set to roll out its big four-day party in Dallas, Texas. Eyewitness News, the latest update from the Southland's number one news team. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now the latest breaking Eyewitness News with Chuck Henry, Joanne Ishimina, Ted Dawson with sports, Johnny Mountain with the weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, everyone. This is Channel 7, Southern California's number one choice for news. And now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Paul Moyer, Tawny Little, Johnny Mountain with weather, Ted Dawson with sports, and the eyewitness news team. How to win the West, the California Angels. Yes, they did. Good evening, everybody. It's now the 11 o'clock hour on a Friday night. This is Channel 7. Southern California's number one choice for news. And now the latest breaking eyewitness news with Harold Green, Joanne Ishimina, Dallas Rains, Rick Lozano, and the eyewitness news team. A fiery night in Hollywood. Good evening. Here's the very latest at 11 on this Sunday night in the Southland. Eyewitness news. The latest update from the Southland's number one news team. This is Channel 7, the number one station for news and information in Southern California. And now, the latest breaking eyewitness news with Paul Moyer, Terry Murphy, Dr. George Fishbeck with weather, Ted Dawson with sports, and the eyewitness news team. The plight of the street people in the homeless capital of the nation. Good evening, it's now 11 o'clock, and it's another night of seeking shelter for the estimated 50,000 people who have no place to live in Los Angeles. From Hollywood, it's AM Los Angeles with Steve Edwards and Christina Ferrari. And live there is the shot from the Eyewitness News helicopter taking... Number one in Southern California, Channel 7, KABC-TV, Los Angeles. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening, here's the latest at 6 o'clock. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7, KABC-TV, Los Angeles. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News, at 11. A sobering thought tonight for drunks. A pill Number one in Southern California, Channel 7, KABC-TV, Los Angeles. Now. The Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News, at 11. The long ordeal is over for a mother whose little boy disappeared Wednesday night. Good evening. Here's the latest at 11. It's AM with Steve Edwards and guest host Laura Diaz. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7, KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News at 4. Good afternoon. Here is the latest at four. Michael. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7, KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News at five. 
Our nation's next president is in Los Angeles tonight, getting ready to do battle with his opponent in a prime time standoff. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7, KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News at 6. Not all the smoke was on the playing field at the USC game today. Good evening. Here's the very latest at 6 on this Saturday. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Paul Boyer and Tony Little. Johnny Mountain has weather and Jim Hill with sports. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News at 11. An explosion rips through a mobile oil refinery plant, injuring at least two people and hurling flame hundreds of feet into the air tonight. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Paul Moyer and Tony Little. Johnny Mountain has weather and Jim Hill with sports. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News at 11. So the theme for World Series 88 is California, here we stay, as a proud Los Angeles paints itself Dodger blue tonight. Good evening, everybody. Here's what's happening on the 11 o'clock hour. The Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Harold Green and Angela Black. Dallas Reigns has weather, and Rick Lozano with sports. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News at 11. Debbie Thomas finds herself at wit's end, but her friends rally to her support. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Harold Green and Joanna Shimina, Dallas Reigns has weather, and Jim Hill with sports. Now, the Southland's leading news, Eyewitness News at 11. The White House astrologer speaks out. Good evening. Here's the very latest at 11 on this Sunday night. You're watching KABC TV, Los Angeles. Moving to the rhythm of the city, to the beat of the streets. News, weather, and sports for a city that plays hard, works hard, and moves fast. Harold Green, Joanna Shimina, Fred Anderson, and Jim Hill. And now, Eyewitness News tonight. Good evening at 11 o'clock on this Sunday night. Chinese troops are still fighting to gain control of... You're watching KABC-TV Los Angeles. Moving to the rhythm of the city to the beat of the streets. News, weather, and sports for a city that plays hard, works hard, and moves fast. John North, Joanna Shimina, Kevin O'Connell, and Jim Hill. Now, Eyewitness News tonight. Good evening, everyone. Here's what's happening on this Sunday night. When news happens, you see it happen on Channel 7. The number one station for news and information in Southern California. Now, Paul Moyer, Ann Martin, Johnny Mountain Weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. This is Eyewitness News tonight. The Southland firestorm, the work of an arsonist, has now become Santa Barbara. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 KABC TV Los Angeles. Now, Gene Gleason, Mary Ann Bannister, Johnny Mountain Weather. When news happens, you see it happen on Eyewitness News this morning. Good morning, everyone. Here's the very latest at 6.30. Every it's 33-year television career. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, Harold Green, Christine Lund, Dallas Rains Weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. When news happens, you see it happen on Eyewitness News at 4. The long wait is finally over. After months of speculation, the Independent Commission investigating charges of race. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, Paul Moyer, Ann Martin, Johnny Mountain Weather, and Jim Hill Sports. 
When news happens, you see it happen on Eyewitness News at 5. It started with a beating four months ago in Los Angeles, and today the Christopher Commission made some shocking recommendations for the LAPD. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, Harold Green, Laura Diaz, Dallas Rains Weather, and Jim Hill Sports. When news happens, you see it happen on Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening. The Christopher Commission says the LAPD needs... Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, Paul Moyer, Ann Martin, Dallas Rains Weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. When news happens, you see it happen on Eyewitness News tonight. A major freeway partly shut down tonight after today's 4.0 earthquake near Castaic. Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, Paul Dandridge, Joanna Shimina, Rick DeReyes Weather, and Jim Hill Sports. When news happens, you see it happen on Eyewitness News tonight. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Number one in Southern California, Channel 7 KABC TV, Los Angeles. Now, Paul Dandridge, Joanna Shimina, Rick DeReyes Weather, and Rick Lozano Sports. When news happens, you see it happen on Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening, everyone. It has happened again. You're watching the number one station for news and information in Southern California. Channel 7, KABC TV, Los Angeles. With Gene Gleason, Susan Compost, Johnny Mountain with weather, and the entire Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. Good morning, everyone. Six o'clock, currently 58 degrees at the Los Angeles Civic Center, and the skies are clear this morning. Copying our news this Wednesday morning, the night. You're watching the number one station for news and information in Southern California. Channel 7 KABC TV, Los Angeles. With Paul Dandridge, Laura Diaz, Dallas Rains with weather, Todd Donahoe Sports, and the entire Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. You're watching the number one station for news and information in Southern California. Channel 7 KABC TV, Los Angeles. With Mark Brown, Rick DeReyes with weather, Rick Lozano Sports, and the entire Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. Oh, people are threatening to kill my children. You're watching the number one station for news and information in Southern California. Channel 7 KABC TV, Los Angeles. With Harold Green. Ann Martin. Dallas Rains with weather, Todd Donahoe Sports, and the entire Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News tonight. He was a gunman with a grudge. KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Gene Gleason, Alicia Lee, and Johnny Mountain with weather. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 5.30. Good Wednesday morning. I'm Alicia Lee. And I'm Jeff Michael in for Gene Gleason, and this is Eyewitness News. KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Steve Wolford, Christine Long, Dallas Rains Weather, and Rick Lozano Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 4. I think it's a shame. ABC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Harold Green, Lisa McCree, Johnny Mountain with weather, and Tom Donahoe Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 5. A two-year-old is dead. His... KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Harold Green, Lisa McCree, Johnny Mountain with weather, and Tom Donahoe Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 5. At this time, subject to the of the people's...
KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Harold Green, Lisa McCree, Dallas Rains Weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Good evening, I'm Harold Green. And I'm Lisa McCree. Here's the latest at 11. Firefighters tonight. KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Jeff Michael, Anna Garcia, Rick DeReyes Weather, and Rob Fubizaki Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 6. The power is back on. KABC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. Eyewitness News with Jeff Michael, Anna Garcia, Maria Gennaro Weather, and Rob Fukasaki Sports. Now live, ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 6. You are looking at a live picture. KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Mark Brown, Rick DeReyes Weather, and Rob Fukasaki Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Good evening, I'm Mark Brown. Here's the latest at 11 o'clock. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Jean Gleason, Maggie Rodriguez, and Johnny Mountain with Eyewitness News at 11.30. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Eyewitness News. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, and Dallas Reigns. With Eyewitness News at 4. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, Dallas Reigns, and Rick Lozano. With Eyewitness News at 4. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Harold Green, Laura Diaz, Dallas Reigns, and Bill Weir. With Eyewitness News at 11. I know, I know. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, David Ono, Alan Leva, and Johnny Mountain. With Eyewitness News this morning at 5. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Alan Leva, Philip Palmer, and Johnny Mountain. With Eyewitness News this morning at 6. Good morning at 6 o'clock. It's Thursday, April. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Rick Romero, Denise Dador, and Pablo Ferreira. As Eyewitness News Sunday morning continues. Welcome back, everyone. It's Sunday, May 6. I'm Denise Dador. And I'm Rick. This is Eyewitness News. Now, Gene Gleason. Maggie Rodriguez and Johnny Mountain with a South. This is High Witness News. Now, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, Dallas Raines, and Bill Weir with the Southland's number one news at six. This is High Witness News. Now, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, Dallas Raines, and Bill Weir. With the Southland's number one news at 6. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Harold Green, Laura Diaz, Dallas Reigns, and Bill Weir. With Eyewitness News at 11. Good evening, I'm Mark Brown. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Mark Brown, Laura Diaz, Dallas Reigns, and Bill Weir. With Eyewitness News at 11. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, a special edition of Eyewitness News. Luxury homes go up in flames and hundreds of people are forced to get out with nothing but the clothes on their backs. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Eyewitness News. It's ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Philip Palmer, Kathy Farah, and Johnny Mountain with Eyewitness News this morning at 5. This powerful new storm is bringing dangerous conditions to the coast. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Michelle Tuzzi, Mark Brown, 
and Dallas Reigns as Eyewitness News continues. A police pursuit takes a terrible human toll. Good afternoon. Welcome back. I'm Mark Brown. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. This is Eyewitness News at 430. This is Eyewitness News. Now, Alan Leva, David Ono, Johnny Melton, and Rob Fukazaki with the Southland's number one news at 5. The Bush administration says it will present a U.N. resolution to use force against Iraq. Even with threats, it will be vetoed. Trust this is Eyewitness News. Now, David Ono, Alan Leva, Johnny Mountain, and Rob Fukazaki with the Southland's number one news at 5. A suspected arms dealer in federal court accused... This is Eyewitness News. Now, Michelle Tuzzi, Mark Brown, Dallas Raines, and Rob Fukazaki with the Southland's number one news at 6. A major Pacific storm is headed our way. It's all... This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, Dallas Raines, and Rob Fukazaki with Eyewitness News at 11. Good evening. This is ABC 7 Los Angeles. Now, Micah Ullman, Leslie Seitz, Danny Romero, and Kurt Sandoval with Eyewitness News at 11. A stormy end to 2005 with more rain expected as we begin 2006. Tim starts right now. Live from ABC7, Philip Palmer, Kathy Vara, Garth Kemp Weather, Jane Monreal, and Scott Reif Traffic. Now, Southern California's first high definition news. Eyewitness News at 5. It is foggy out there. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kathy Vara. And I'm Philip Palmer. And that's a warning this morning. Be careful. This is a live look from our cameras down at. This is Eyewitness News in High Definition with live breaking news. It's another new development in the Anna Nicole Smith paternity case. A day after her death, another man steps forward to announce that Anna Nicole's baby could be his. There's much more news to come. Eyewitness News at 5 starts right now. Live from ABC7, David Odo, Ellen Leva, Dallas Rains Weather, and Rob Fukazaki Sports. Now, Southern California's first high-definition news. Eyewitness News at 5. The tumultuous... Live from ABC7, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, and Dallas Rains Weather. As Eyewitness News at 4 in High Definition continues. Miss USA is the latest, but she's certainly not alone. From Mel Live from ABC7, David Odo, Ellen Leva. Dallas Rains Weather and Rob Fukazaki Sports. Now, Southern California's only high definition news. Eyewitness News at 5. As President Bush considers. Live from ABC 7, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, Dallas Rains Weather and Rob Fukazaki Sports. Now, Southern California's only high definition news. Eyewitness News at 6. A nightmare for holiday travelers at LAX. The big chill grips Southern California tonight as the mercury plummets, and it isn't even winter yet. Good evening. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. I'm Mark Brown. This is Eyewitness News at 11. Put quite simply, it is freezing in some parts of the Southland tonight. Live from ABC7, Micah Ullman, Leslie Sykes, Danny Romero, Weather, and Kurt Sandoval Sports. Now, Southern California's first high-definition news. Eyewitness News at 4.30. Police and... Live from ABC7, Micah Ullman, Leslie Sykes, Danny Romero, Weather, and Kurt Sandoval Sports. Now, Southern California's first high-definition news. Eyewitness News at 5. A state of emergency in Northern... Live from ABC7, Micah Ullman, Leslie Sykes, Danny Romero, Weather, and Kurt Sandoval Sports. Now, Southern California's first high-definition news. Eyewitness News at 11. Molo the Chip escapes from a DeVore wildlife sanctuary. Fly from ABC7. Philip Palmer, Kathy Vara, Garth Camp Weather, Jane Monreal, and Scott Rife Traffic. Now, Southern California's first high definition news. Eyewitness News at 5. Good morning. I'm Kathy Vara. And I'm Philip Palmer. It is Wednesday, February 4th. Thanks for starting your morning with us. Jane Monreal comes back to work from vacation and has a traffic alert Remember right me? out of the gates. Yeah. Yes. And <laughs> Live from ABC7, Philip Palmer, Kathy Vara, Garth Camp Weather, Jane Monreal, and Scott Rife Traffic.
Now, Southern California's first high-definition news, Eyewitness News at 6. President Obama takes aims at executives of companies accepting government bailout money. Would Live from ABC7, John Gregory, Lisa Hernandez, and Indra Peterson's weather as Eyewitness News Saturday morning in high definition continues. This is Eyewitness News in High Definition with live breaking news. A local hospital catches fire. Hello, I'm David Ono. I'm Leslie Sykes, and for Ellen Laven, we begin with that breaking news live in... Live from ABC7, David Ono, Ellen Leva, Dallas Rains Weather, and Rob Fukasaki Sports. Now, Southern California's first high-definition news. Eyewitness News at 6. A landmark settlement in the MacArthur Park May Day. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News in High Definition. Southern California gets ready to ring in the new year. The partying is underway with 2011 just an hour away. Good evening, I'm John Hartung. Mark and Michelle are off tonight. Here is the latest at 11. LA Live is alive with... Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. New this morning, a double wide trailer goes up in flames in Mead Valley. How many firefighters did it take to get the inferno under control? Also new this morning, Pope Francis makes an interesting comment about Catholics who divorce and get remarried. We'll tell you what he said in a speech. And it could change the way you get to and from LAX. Happening today, a vote on whether to allow ride-sharing companies at the airport. This is a new report uncovers troubling information about some of the drivers' criminal backgrounds. Good morning. It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, August 5th. I'm Leslie Sykes. And I'm Philip Palmer. Thanks for starting your morning with us. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. This is Eyewitness News on LA 56. The campus of UC Santa Barbara on alert. Authorities investigating the gang rape of a 19 year old student. Good evening, I'm David Ono. And I'm Colleen Sullivan. Welcome back to ABC 7 Eyewitness News on LA 56. Celebrating the new year, a big street party underway tonight in downtown Los Angeles and on the route of the Rose Parade in Pasadena. Spirits are high despite the bone chilling cold temperatures. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jory Rand. And I'm Colleen Sullivan. Mark and Michelle are off. We have live team coverage of the. What do you expect as you head out the door today? Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. <laughs> Good Wednesday morning, everyone. I'm Leslie Sykes. And I'm Mark Cotarobles. You're watching Eyewitness News at 4, live on ABC7, Hulu Live, and, of course, wherever you stream. At the end of the week. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Right now at 5 a.m., help is here for local hospitals. Overwhelmed by the coronavirus pandemic, see what hospitals... Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Right now at 11 a.m., hundreds of places are opening today as early voting centers. We're live. This is Eyewitness News, now at 4. A startling percentage of female students across the nation report being sexually assaulted on campus. And this is Eyewitness News, now at 5. We're this year at profound loss. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Strong winds are whipping up across Southern California with increased fire danger this week. This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. We begin with breaking news at 11 and a bad crash involving an LAX police squad car and a white sedan. This is video just in from Air 7. Investigators tell us the collision happened as that LAX police unit was responding to a report of a low jack beacon from a stolen vehicle. This all happened on the westbound Imperial Highway near Hindry. The force of the collision sending that white sedan into a concrete bridge support under the 105 freeway. Several exits from the 105 into LAX were shut down for a time, but traffic now in and out of LAX is moving again. A one this is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. 
Smoke bombs, SWAT officers and snarl traffic center around what appears to be a local church, but police say what's happening inside is far from a religious experience. Eyewitness News reporter uh, Veronica Miracle rather is live in Koreatown with the breaking new developments tonight. Veronica? This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. We begin with breaking news at 11 o'clock. A violent multi-car crash caused by a driver fleeing police. LAPD cruisers had started to follow a suspected stolen pickup truck when the driver suddenly took off and at extreme speeds. New at 11, candles burning and tears flowing tonight at an emotional vigil in Long Beach. So many gathering to pray for 18-year-old Mona Rodriguez, that young mother now in a local hospital and on life support. Cameras capturing the moment Monday when she was shot in the head by a school police officer following a violent altercation near Millican High School. Channel 7, KABC-TV, Los Angeles. 